Hey, good morning. You know, it's March 20th. They say this is the first day of spring, and I can't believe it. We're not going to have rain. We've had rain, like, since the 1st of February. They said we had 14 inches of rain up till now, something like that. Um, kind of like the, either the, I forget, was it the second wettest or fourth wettest? I don't know. Been wet, 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 even for this area which is up by Seattle it's been a, a doozy okay that being said I want to thank all the patrons that support our show appreciate your effort and you can do that if you go let me scroll down here a little bit the link right there become a patron on Podbean that graphic right there if you're on YouTube you can see it and if you're on the uh Br browsing with your mobile device go to the guyercookreport.podbean.com there'll be a link as soon as I get the edit done and you can go to the text and right here at the top where it says be a patron of our podcast click on that one and that'll get you in to supporting the effort and I appreciate that and thank you very much etc etc there's a, a link here on today's Monday show Eight essential branding steps for your business. If you're getting together a new project, developing a brand, why not have a kick-ass brand, as they say in the post, and let's see what they're on about in that. Now, when I first load this up, there it is in their blog, the link there. But I said, you know what? On Pinterest, where I first saw it, it's a lot tidier. Don't you agree? That compact what you see is what you get I like that and I've been using Pinterest for quite a while now there even have a link in the show notes to our Pinterest account so eight essential branding steps for your business okay get together with some friends some relatives if you're a solopreneur like some of us are God bless us and describe the brand's mission in that brainstorm session three to five sentence what are you doing what are you out and des design develop and deploy web projects I guess is the the mission that we're on every successful brand meets an ongoing need and that's what need we meet is we try to help people with developing a good presence online making the best foot forward the best that they can do the first time that they do it instead of having to put band-aids on something that was an oops because perhaps they didn't follow um, any kind of a plan they just went to the editor started throwing the page together and there they have it determine your tar your target audience this is done by looking at the demographics we're going to get into that a little bit tomorrow with some steps and looking at Google Analytics and that's one of the steps is how to determine your demographics uh, what are your followers hobbies what defines their family life and remember back on the show notes I've got that thing that says the Gar Cook report questions give that link a click if you would and that's going to talk about your brand and better yet your transparency so people get to know you a little bit better and then the third one they talk about is what's your competitive advantage well are you the oldest the tallest the smartest well, that's pretty humble um, what sets your brand apart when you line up all those other brands on the shelf think of it as boxes of cereal what's the free prize inside your box of cereal that your brand offers maybe it's as simple as we've got a planning session guide and again that's the link right here it says start here planning session guide that will perhaps give you some brain food towards making that best effort with presenting your brand so moving right along and that takes us to this scroll think about what your brand should look like make it a consistent look so that your 
a business page on LinkedIn, your business page on uh, Google Plus. So it all has the same look. So they don't go to your Google Plus. Well, who's this? This doesn't look nothing like what I'm used to seeing. Have the same golden arches on the same restaurant look from whatever corner you come in from. Okay. Have a brand personality so that when they think about your brand, they go, oh, yeah, that's the one with the little guy going like this. Okay. Something like that. Create core branding assets. Those are the images, the things that you put on every day and keep them consistent. If you started in January looking like this, then keep that same brand. It says get a website, get a plan first. Plan it out first, then get a website. It's the only amendment I would make in that. And then the last thing they say here is that you want to develop your social media profiles. And the first profile, I think, or the first account I would create is with Google. And that's because you get so darn many other tools with Google that will make your presence on Facebook, on Twitter, on Pinterest, on LinkedIn. All of those will come together and work better for you if that's where your brand needs to be. Uh, big thanks to the Red Website Design Company in UK. You can see their link right there. Go to blog.red-website-design.co.uk. You'll see more of these. And there's some, some pearls in that oyster. Give it a look. And so and we're back here at the front page. And that's when I say thank you to... Fraser Ramsey from Edinburgh Dusters who put this whole thing into gear by providing me with an image one Thursday afternoon and said, hey, what about doing a podcast? And so here we are. We're doing a podcast. I hope you're enjoying it. The thank yous also include Eileen Smith. Eileen is going to do a presentation March 23rd, 22nd. Go to basicblogtips.com. It's got a graphic right there. I'll uh, give you the date better than I can recollect it. Thanks to Friends Just Chatting. It's a Facebook group that uh, is Friends Just Chatting. Look them up on Facebook. I'll, I think you'll enjoy your trip there and have fun with that. Follow us on Twitter. Follow us on Facebook. Uh, look for us on Pinterest now. You'll see in the show notes. Again, that's if you go to the com. You can get that information. And so on that note, I'm going to end the broadcast with those famous magic words I use every show. It's a wrap.